Hey guys, this is episode 17 of my Let's Play series. Um, what we're going to be doing today is uh, working on the Nether Hub. Um, well, getting a Nether Hub going, not really, you know, doing. We will be getting a Nether Hub going to, in this episode. Also, I'll be showing all the hard work I've been doing on the mob farm, which will get that done out of the way first before starting on the Nether Hub. So, as you can see, I've got the uh, collection area or storage area done. Um, nice and compact, lovely. I got the button in, I got all that in, I've, um, yeah, I've got the portal all ready to go when we do start that, oh, I've um, got the glass in, yeah, so all those are done, um, I've replaced the doors with metal doors, and pressure plates on the floor, now if we go in here, um, you notice I've brought the stairs back another, another one, just to clean it up a little bit more instead of going up, down, up, down, up, down like I had here before, um, yeah, I, I think it's cleaned it up quite a lot. I quite like it now. So we got the uh, we've got a big metal door here too. So you got access to the um, loot area where the loot's going to flow down to the track, which is great. So yep, yeah, that's done. I just went through a tick tick li list of stuff <laughs> and got just tons done. So let's go downstairs, which I'll show you what I've done down here. So I've, as I said, I was saying, with, um, I think in the last episode, I was going to box all this off um, and just spam it with torches so no, nothing could spawn down here. And also, I put the glowstone in the bottom to sort of match its neighbour um, from if you're looking from the ground up. So that's all done. Um, obviously, if we get this nether hub system going for faster transport, we will put, we'll demolish the uh, ladder going down there, seal, the, seal this back up. Um, so let's head up the top now and I'll show you the other modifications I've made. So all the work on this farm is finally paying off. Um, I've done testing is, is working great in testing, everything's fine. Um, this will probably be the last episode when it comes to let the let's plays for this for this mob farm, and we'll shoot the probably the next episode is probably going to be the shoot of the the normal video as I call them for the for the people that don't watch the let's plays. Now we're up the top, so up we go. Okay, so the first thing I've done is put what well, put these access areas on the side, so we got access to the to the rooms on both sides. Um, yes, I was, I was going to put a little roof on here and connect this to the roof so it looked like it has supports and so on. Um, I did that on both sides, so as we can see, ah, so we can get access to it and, and I'll explain what I've done in here. So I'll go in a little bit, light it up just so people can see a little bit better. Okay, so first off, you might have noticed I've removed all the trapdoors from this one of the sides. Now I've done it for both sides, um, for the middle. So only the trapdoor in the center. Now, reason why I've done this is because in um, when I was testing it, a lot of mobs were getting stuck, like either on the trapdoor glitched into the wall, they'll get shot by an arrow or something and they'll get glitched there and they'll be looking in the window not falling and spiders were getting stuck and it was getting a horrible mess. So I figured, wait a second, why can't we just take out all the trapdoors, technically they would still see this as a block and walk on it and fall to their death. They should technically still go to the middle of it, which they wouldn't because they would still die. And um, I tested it. It worked. It worked fantastically actually. The spiders are dropping down much smoother. Everything's working much smoother. So I removed those from both sides. Now, second thing I've done is as you can see, I've added half slabs to the back wall here. Now. Um, all this black wall here, mobs will not aggro, you're way too far away. Um, so what I did is just half slabbed it off. Um, I didn't do the, didn't put half slabs on the ground because mobs might wander back onto the half slabs, not wander back over there. So I put it in the middle. Now it's a lot easier to do that than knock out all the wall here and move it in a bit. So if you're going to build one of these, I suggest about eight blocks wide for the spawn pads. Um, yeah, so now they're spawning in the middle. Or just on here and as you go past they aggro and they walk through and and uh, probably de sometimes they'll de aggro depends how back far back they spawn and then on the way back usually they get them sometimes the mob will despawn yeah um, so 
yeah, so I was trying to move them up a little bit fo forward, of, so you'd go past and they'll just fall off and spawn and fall off and spawn as you go past. Um, so, at, well, since I've done this, actually the loot has increased by a little bit, about 5 10%, something like that. I've definitely noticed loot increasing since I've done this. So, I was thinking about doing more tests, but bring it forward a little bit more, forcing them to spawn a bit closer to the edge. So, you know, you'd go past and they'll just fall straight off which would be fantastic and then you go all the way to do a loop back and I'd fall off again but anyway so that is what I've done up here I try to explain it the best I could um, so let's get started on the let's get started on the uh, the nether hub close that door um, I've not I haven't done anything on the roof still got torches up here still piston clock um, yeah, I'm quite actually. I'm quite happy with the uh, the collection little station thing down there. It's nice and compact. Um, yeah, so it's good. I'm quite pleased with that. So let's head back down there. What I'll do is pause the video so you don't have to put up with this winding again. Okay, now we're down the bottom. Let's get started on linking this with a Nether portal and um, making a short distance. Uh, I did do some work down in the nether before getting all that ready for this video, so it was all done off camera. So what we need to do is um, um, jot jot down the um, the coordinates. Um, all you got to jot down is your x, which would be for me minus 292, and then all you got to do is divide that by eight, which would come to 36.5. And that thir minus 36.5 is the coordinates you need to go to in the nether. And, and plus your z. You've got to also divide your z coordinates by 8. And for 224, you'll get 28. I already ripped down this earlier. So I wouldn't have to do this on the live camera, which would be embarrassing. Trying to find a calculator or the rest of it. So I've already jotted those down on a piece of paper. So... As I said, 292 divided by 8 is 36.5. So those are minus, minus 36.5. And um, Z, which is 224 divided by 8, which is 28. So all we got to do is find those coordinates in the um, nether and uh, build another portal over there. So this portal here will be, should be linked back to the home base portal, like the original portal we built. But we don't want that because, say, we went in, we'll go in there now. Say, so we, we come through the portal, and I'll explain this in a sec. Now, if we went th back through this portal, um, we would actually end up back at um, the mountain, you know, my home base, which would be bad. We would, we want to go to the, um, we, we want to go to the mob farm. Um, that's that's what we, we're technically doing so as you can see my coordinates were not too far off those coordinates that I had which yeah so I did move this portal I will show you where I moved it from so as you can see just down here there's the original portal we came out of uh, when we went to first nether and we I was gathering glowstone um, there's one of the towers there so yeah all I did is moved it to the roof because I thought if I'm gonna build a uh, this nether hub system um, of teleports around the map I want to do it in the roof away from gasps and mobs and all sorts of stuff that can hurt or harm you downstairs so I just move the portal up here so as you can probably see well look, look I'll jump in the portal and it will take us back to main base see it's not actually taking you back to the uh, Mob, mob farm. That's why we jotted down those new coordinates, which we got to build another, another um, another portal there, and it should link up with the new portal. So we're going to do X first. We need to minus it, so it technically is this way. Oh. Get out some some of that. So, uh, say, uh, eventually what I'll have is a, a train track system out here. You can select whatever and it'll take you to the to the portal that you need to go to. So, okay, that's not too far off. We'll uh, start heading in. 
So we're going minus x uh, 36, and then um, we'll do the, the z coordinate after that. Oh, that was my good pickaxe too. Now I have to go slow. Right, we're at 36, now we need to go up to Z28, 20, Z28. Oh. Alright, so we're at the coordinates. Um, so that's all how far we have to walk to get to the mob farm and the base. Um, that's how I understand how it works. Um, I did watch someone else... Someone else linked it to me because I've never actually done one of these before. So, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as he explained that, all you got to do is divide the coordinates of the main world by eight, and and then go to the coordinates that you get and just build a portal. Um, that's all you have to do. So I was that, that sounded easy. So I gave it a shot. We're going to give it a shot. Wow, too wide. Alright, portal done. Portal done. So this should link up. This should link up with the um with the mob farm. Yep, so So now just say we want to get back to the base really quick without running nearly what five hundred blocks that way. Just go through the portal here. And then we go back. Then we just go back to the other portal down here. And then that's it. That's all the distance you have to travel to get from my base to the mob farm now. Not running all that way. And we go through this one. We should be back at the base. That is how simple that is. So we're back at the base. Fantastic. Now I can uh, start transporting all that stuff back. Now for further away stuff there will be further away portals. Um, yeah. So I'm happy with that. I've got that done. Um, so this will be, we're going to turn this room into the main room of the nether. Um, and when we get more portals up and going we'll probably have um, probably have a switch with a track uh, with like a track selector system you know and all the portals will be listed so what portal goes where you press the button jump in the cart off you go to that portal that's what I'm thinking something like that later on um, yeah but I'm happy for I'm happy with this so far which is cool yeah no we'll, we're definitely doing this system instead of doing the old walk far distance stuff I'm um, just got to do some decorating, I suppose. Sorry if any anyone couldn't understand what I'm going on about, I suppose, because I, I know I didn't explain it too well. I want to go back to the freaking... Sorry. I want to go back to my, um... Mob farm. Which I thought I was going the right way, but I wasn't. And yeah. Okay, now we're at the move on. Alright, now we're back at the wrong farm. Okay, so yeah, no, that's how that all works. I as I said, I'm sorry if you didn't understand it. I tried to explain it the best as I could. Um, there's some people out there with tutorials, it's pretty simple, just look it up on YouTube. Anyway, we're gonna call this episode for now, so episode 17's done. We got another hub system. I showed you guys how the mob farm's going. And um, hopefully by the next episode, it won't be a next episode. It will be an actual normal video on, on me explaining to the other people that don't watch the Let's Play series on how all this works. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 17. And uh, join me for the normal episode, which will be in a few days' time.